Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be playing with the coolest product and this was the most requested in terms of like, I, I think I received more pictures of this product than any other product on Twitter and I am so happy to finally have it in my hands because this took so long. Usually, you know, you order makeup and within a week it shows up. This took over a month and finally I have it. I can finally sit down and show you the magic of the Kylie Jumi, I believe that's how you say it. As far as what I've seen online, as far as pictures go, it's the prettiest lipstick I have ever laid eyes on. I'm about to dig into this package and we are going to ooh and awe at it together. And then of course, I wanna see how it looks on the lips, how it feels, what the scent is, how slippery it is, if it really does turn color. So what this is, is a lipstick that is going to enhance in color depending on the heat of your body. So whether you are a little bit warmer, whether you are a little bit colder, you know, that's kind of like the mood ring thing, but I don't know that your body temperature really has to do with your mood so much as it has to do with whether your hormones are totally crazy or they're not. I don't know. Um, I don't think it really has anything to do with your mood is my point. So this is, this is so exciting for me. I'm so exciting. Oh my God. Why do I have two of the same color? I thought I had five shades. I have four shades and two are the same. You know what that means? Instant giveaway. I'm going to leave information in the description box because I haven't even really thought this through on the spot. So, but I will give away the extra one that I have. The tube is red. It's really pretty. Um, oh, hey, you get a mirror on the other side. That's kind of a cool feature. I think the natural thing that you want to do is twist it or like poke the bottom of the lipstick tube, but actually check it out. That's how you do it. It's a button on the top. Okay, are we ready? Oh my God. Oh my God, how pretty is that? There is a real flower in here. Ooh, it smells like berries and candies. I was worried that because it was a flower lipstick that it would smell really, really floral and that I'd be complaining about that the whole video that I'd be like, it's really pretty. It looks so good. It has gold flecks and it's like kind of fun to look at, but there's this weird flower scent that I hate because for me, I can't stand when lipsticks taste like chemical perfume and you smell it because your lips are right under your nose and it's kind of just like, it alters the way food even tastes. Have you guys been there? I can't, I cannot, I can't. Okay, what I'm gonna do is actually swatch this on the back of my hand and see if there's any color change. Cause obviously looking at this, it looks clear. Is there? We'll give it a minute to warm up. All right, we're just gonna go in and I'm gonna try this color on and then see what, we, what we're working with. And of course, I'm gonna try all four of these shades on for you. I have Minute Maid, which looks like be honest looks really unappealing on the box it could be pretty on uh, we have Barbie doll powder what does that even mean I'm kind of confused by that <laughs> I don't know why uh, Barbie doll powder and then we have the lame red that could be fun the first one I'm gonna go in with is dream purple and I'm gonna assume that as we open these all up that the flowers match the color of what it is on your lips. They have a nice little tag on the bottom so you'll know which one is which, but aside from that, maybe the flower tells you as well. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this on. Immediately, it feels like butter. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, my mom will be so into this. She loves that Frog Prince lipstick so much. She thinks it's like the easiest thing to wear, the perfect shade. If you haven't seen that video, it's a green lipstick that alters in color, kind of the same type of a deal with your body heat. I will link that below. It literally in the tube is green. I don't have it anymore. I had two of them. My mom took them both. She loves them. She's gonna love this too. I don't think I'm gonna let her take it though. This is really, really pretty. I feel like color changing lipstick is one of those things that you can put on bare faced. You can be at the gym, you can be just bare faced, not fussing with much, and it just kind of works because it's not overly thick, shiny, it's very balmy, but then it just turns a really pretty color that just kind of works. There's something about it that really, really works. 
I'm enjoying this. It looks like just a perfect stain, like I ate a popsicle and it somehow ended up being like a very cute stain, not like a dang mess. Um, so this is really pretty. And I have to say this feels better than the Frog Prince. The Frog Prince is really good, but this just feels really luxurious and it feels very nourishing on the lips. All right, moving on. Ooh, that does stain your lips too a little bit. I am trying to take it off. I did not realize that this was not only a lipstick that changes color with your body temperature, but it is also a very intense stain because even with a makeup remover wipe, it's not, this is not coming off. Second tube we're going in with, we're gonna go with the Barbie powder. Dude, I love this, right? Bam. Same scent. It smells like candy from Sanrio. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I know that I am not the only adult out there that has ever wandered into a Sanrio and bought gum and candy for me. I just, I love their candy. It smells like their gum. Maybe it's because of the stain underneath, but I kind of think this is the same color. I'm gonna say go with the purple one because I don't think this is as strong. It's just kind of like a lighter version. This one is more true kind of berry type of a color. This is just very light. So if you want something that has almost no color and like a kiss of pink, then I would go with the Barbie doll powder. We're gonna go with Minute Maid. This is my fullest flower yet. These are so pretty. This is Minute Maid. This might be a two day video where I have to try some of these other colors out after the stain goes away because I, look how it's changing on my hand a little bit, but I cannot even see a difference on my lips. Disaster, okay. So let's just go in with Flame Red and hope for the best. Flame Red has a pink flower in here. And now I've jacked up my foundation and it is doing very strange things. I am going to apply Flame Red with a little bit of lip liner on and then I'm, I am gonna wear this one throughout the day and do check-ins and see how long the stain lasts, how long it lasts before the moisture goes away and I feel like I need to reapply. So that's the last one that we're going to apply. Let me line my lips. Please turn red. All right, I'm gonna kind of just hang out here for a minute and see if the color intensifies once it warms up with my lips. So let's just see. Really random side note, but have any of my viewers out there, let me know in the comments, have any of you tattooed your lips? Now I know that microblading is a really popular thing right now. And in the past, tattooing your lips was kind of like a uh, scary thing, but they have new formula, which is an organic type of pigment that like wears out over time. So it's not totally permanent, but I'm thinking of doing that because I have this gap where there is no pigment surrounding my lip and it bugs me and it bugs me when I'm trying on lipsticks and it just kind of is one of those things that is easy to fix if I kind of muster up the courage to go and get that done. And I'm curious, A, if you guys would wanna see that and B, if any of you have ever had it and what your experience was, let me know. And PS, before everybody goes crazy, I think that if you are not hurting yourself and you have a sound reason to go and address anything that you want to physically on your body, whether it is plastic surgery, whether it is a little Botox, whether it is a little lip filler or tattooing or whatever, it's your business, it's your body. And so long as you are coming from, you know, your own want and desire and not somebody else pushing you or influencing you, or you feeling like you need to stack up to what, you know, the standard in the media is, like as long as it's coming from you, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. And I just don't, I don't need to hear all the craziness about love yourself. It doesn't matter. I do love myself, but I also am not opposed to changing things that I don't 
necessarily like. All right, so <laughs> as we've sat here and had a little bit of a chat, this is not turning into as much of a red as I would like. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I am gonna wear this throughout the day just to see how long this slip lasts on my lips without it completely going away from, you know, sipping on my Starbucks, having something to eat. Usually you do have to reapply a balm, but the really, really good ones will kind of give you a little bit of hydration and moisture that carries you through the day. So we will do check-ins and see how this product performs. And then I think I'm gonna try and apply the colors tomorrow as well without having that pigment stain on my lips so we can see how Minute Maid and Barbie doll powder perform. All right, so that's where we're at. And I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I just ate a salad and I had olive oil on the salad. So that's like the kiss of death for lipstick. It, you know, even with liquid lipstick, it kind of just makes it slide everywhere. Um, the stain, obviously, I mean, I can see in the little viewfinder is still like, it's still there. All of the moisture is gone. Uh, something really weird that is happening with this product is I got outside of my lip line a little bit and it's full on like stained my lip line. So uh, word of wisdom to you all with this type of a product, make sure that you do not go outside of your lip line because this stuff just stains like crazy. I'm gonna show you the back of my hand. I have used oil, makeup removers, everything. I was gonna do swatches for another video on my hand, but it is so stained from swatching this product earlier today. I don't really know how long it's gonna take, you know, how many times I'll have to wash my hands for this to finally fade, but this stuff is potent. So my check-in for now is basically to say that this is an awesome lip stain. Um, the scent of it, you know how I was like, oh, it's like Sanrio candy. It is like very good smelling at first, but after a while you do get that kind of like plastic taste in your mouth, kind of like what baby doll heads smell like. I know that's such a weird description. I've used that description before, but it's just, it's just how I can describe it. Um, so it does taste really kind of chemically after a while. Um, I didn't like that. My lips feel very hydrated. They don't feel dry at all, so that's awesome. But I definitely could use some more. I'm gonna try and like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this lip situation. My lips look kind of crazy right now. It wore off uh, right after I was done eating. So before then I had had it on for about three hours and it was doing great. But definitely the second you eat, because it's just kind of balmy, it's gonna come off, but the stain won't. So yeah. It is now day two and believe it or not, the stain is still there. Like there's a little bit left behind, right? I'm not crazy. There's a little bit of a stain left behind. So I mentioned that I wanted to give a fair shot to a few of the other lighter shades. I think we're only gonna be able to try one to be honest because these just stain the lips so intensely. Um, so I'm gonna try the shade Minute Maid in just a second here. And it's, you know, now the second day of reviewing this product. I have some additional thoughts. I wanna say um, the scent, it really has started to bother me while wearing it. It's not super bad, but I just, I do have to throw that out there. I have now played around with swatching all four of these shades on the back of my hand and they are all very pink toned. So no matter which direction you go in, they're all gonna end up being somewhat pinky. So you're not gonna get an orange or a bright like fire engine red, you know, it's called flame red and you kind of in your head think, ooh, it's gonna be like bright red. It's not. So these are all going to be just different pink tones. This one actually right here, believe it or not, this is flame red. This one over here is Minute Maid on me. Then we have the purple one and <laughs> Barbie powder, powder Barbie, weird name, pink. So I'm gonna try on Minute Maid. See, immediately pink. It's not orange. It's pink. I mean, it's still pretty. And I have to say on Snapchat, a lot of you guys were like, ooh, what is that berry like stain on your lips? And I really wanted to tell you, but I was kind of like waiting until this video went up on my channel. So 
Here's the final verdict. I think that this is a beautiful product. I think it is very silky on the lips. It is beautiful to look at. It's just, it is like the most gorgeous lipstick I've ever seen in my life with the flower and the gold. The packaging is totally top notch solid with the mirror on the side and the cool way that you actually get the tube of lipstick out. What I'm going to advise is you don't need all four shades. Just pick one and that is enough because basically they're all gonna do the same thing. And I would say out of the bunch, my favorite is the first one that I tried, Dream Purple, which is the one that I have a spare of. So I will be doing a giveaway. Look in the description box below for details on how to enter. And that wraps up this playtime with the Kylie Jumi beautiful flower, see-through, color-changing, magical lipstick. Um, I am done for the day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as I played around and tried on these products. Let me know other strange products. Keep sending me photos on Twitter. Tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you want me to put to the test next. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video.